work at the construction site was put on hold following the incident that claimed the life of the construction worker. Sand relics of the drainage were visible when the news crew visited. Some relatives of the deceased were at the scene of the incident to ascertain the cause of the death of the victim. Some eyewitnesses said the workers were working on the site at about 11 a.m. on Wednesday when the fence beside a filling station caved on them. They said the construction firm was trying to leak a drainage from 3rd to 2nd East Secular Road when the disaster occurred, pointing out that one person died on the spot while others rescued to the hospital. So I was surprised how many we even did it. The sound effect gives signs, some sand effect drop. So the one of the engineers just come. Uh, even the workers, he even talk about say, ah, this thing will just happen so. At least this thing is, in, in, this fence go fall. The other engineer come, he say, we not go work, make it come out. So I just surprised. You know, you know, it never even passed two hours there. So about five of them just enter inside. The fence just collapsed. Coll Yesterday, we are here now. But those people, they are working. When the capillary is still working. So, the city just flowed down top of there. They are about five now, but it bury one. But three, four, three have injury. Then before they rush them to hospital. But I don't know. After here, I don't know what happened again. There were five of them. The rest, they could rescue them. But the other particular one called Moses is the one that they couldn't rescue. More than 30 minutes, they were trying to excavate to try to check where he really he was inside the ground. So it was only the fingers, the four fingers that they first of all saw before they know the actual point that it was. Elder brother of the victim who identified the deceased as Moses Ahako said he was shocked to receive the news of the death of his younger brother. It was a shock because I never expected my brother would die in this kind of trap. So immediately I had the news, I have to come from my workplace and I drove in throughout the night yesterday and I arrived here this morning. That's why I said they should take me here to see the scam of the accident. And after now I'm going to see him the in the mortuary. How can you order somebody to go under a trap like this? This is a painful thing. To lose somebody that is dear to you, and we are only two remaining. Now that he is gone, I'm only the one remaining now. Efforts to obtain comments from officials of the construction firm met a brick wall as several calls put across to the public relations officer of the company went unanswered. Copy this tune for 50 Naira. Press 11. This is our contribution. Our contribution. Our contribution. Our contribution. Please wait. Your call is being forwarded. Wellington. Ah, Kodeja, reporting.